Good morning everybody, welcome back to Miriam Ka's channel. Today is another day here in Vietnam and in this video we are going to Sapa from Hanoi. We are currently waiting for a van that we have booked a few days ago to take us there and the trip there should be about five hours and a half which is a little bit long. So it's really early in the morning right now, it's about 6 a.m. and we should be getting there about 12. Hopefully it's going to be an easy trip because I really couldn't be bothered to travel so long and with Arella it's not the easiest. Maybe this is the van. Thank you. So we are on the van right now and it's like a luxury van which is super straight I've never seen anything like this before it is so nice clean and literally so comfortable that it should be a good trip check this out this is super strange we have these like giant seats and even blankets as you can tell Arella you ready for five hours trip She's really calm right now because she's tired. You ready? She's ready to get back to sleep. When we go on like very long trips, we try to go as early in the morning as possible. Obviously, not too early because then Arella is grumpy. But between 5.30 and like 7 is like the most perfect time because Arella is still super tired after she wakes up. So she is more likely to sleep while we are traveling, which makes it obviously easier for us. And these seats are absolutely perfect because there's just so much space. just stopping for a short little break oh my gosh the journey so far it has been really fast and bumpy I guess that's normal in Asia apart from that let's see where we have arrived I can see just like a giant restaurant and shop morning exercises fair enough how are you feeling yes I feel alright so Josh is be feeling sick today He's not very well. He might be food poisoned, we don't know yet. Yeah, which is a shame because I've only been here one day. Um, I've been loving the food, but yeah, we don't know what it is. So. so he has been having a sore tummy and today is not a very good day for that because it's a, obviously a five hour journey. But you're doing good, right, so far? So we have just arrived and luckily the journey was actually way shorter than we were told so that's pretty cool but yeah welcome to the accommodation tour this is where we stay in for the next two nights as you can see we actually have a giant bed and a small bed and that was just because it was already included we didn't really ask for an extra bed because we don't really need one but whatever means Jujulina is gonna sleep on this one and me and Arella are going to sleep on this one as you can see Jujulina doesn't feel very good so he's been in bed for the past few hours but anyways what's cool about this place is that we actually have a heater over there because I think Sapa is a cold place during winter right now so this heater is going to help us a lot but this is the outside area of a hotel and it's called the Albert Hotel as you can see here and it's like kind of yellow which is super cool it's pretty big and we have a nice view over here however it's all pretty much cloudy but have a look at this guys we have an amazing view we can kind of sort of see the rice fields over there but it's mainly giant hills covered with these clouds it was much worse like an hour ago it was like clouds everywhere but it's gone better we have a clearer view of Sapa Arella you are being really 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 dangerous Arella has an obsession with walking up the stairs as you can see she's doing a pretty well good job but dangerous job so come on Arella let's go back to your room now so we also have this giant balcony and the view is absolutely incredible check this out like I was saying before there's a lot of fields 
and a lot of mountains that you can't really see right now because it's all covered with this cloudy fog i was expecting the weather to be actually pretty cold because we are going north in vietnam and what i've been told before sapa is supposed to be quite cold but it's pretty hot especially in the sun when the sun is out then temperature is like hot so it's time now to get some lunch so it's just me and arella going to find some lunch josh isn't feeling very well at the minute so he decided to stay at home so it's just me and arella going to find some lunch i've looked up on TripAdvisor some vegan places around here there's not many but i'm going to try to find one i've literally just been to one and it's closed so hopefully the next one will be open because i'm hungry tired and now i'm exhausted because i just walked down these massive stairs so don't mind my weird breathing so we just arrived in a restaurant this one is called little vietnam and although it's not like a vegan restaurant they have a lot of vegetarian vegan options so i just made sure everything is going to be vegan and we are currently waiting for food arella is trying to get these two pigs you're not allowed them because they are dangerous she does not care this is like her favorite game anything that's shaky she wants to touch it as you can see excuse me it's a batch. Wow. wow, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, Arella, Arella's not interested to be eating right now. This food is looking super lovely. Oh my gosh. Mm. I know it's just simple noodles and tofu, but this food is like my fave. Um -um. Um -um. Wow, even eating with chopsticks. This is literally how I'm spending my lunch. Once again, Evela is joining me, but this time for dinner. We have just arrived to this nice vegan place here in Sapa, and I decided to get some Western food because the menu said they have vegan chicken, vegan beef, and it's like, what the hell? So, you interested to share this burger with me, Evela? Evela is also a little bit sick today, so she's not really eating. Would you like a piece of this bun? Yeah. Tak? Yeah. As you can see, she doesn't really have appetite and she rather play with these chopsticks. But yeah, let's eat this nice and juicy burger. And guess who ordered more food? Me. Here we have some fresh uh, veggie spring rolls which is like one of my favorites here in Vietnam oh my gosh basically it's like rice paper and you have veggies inside mainly like leaves carrots noodles and stuff like that and it's just a very fresh meal that I absolutely love here in Vietnam so anyways thank you guys for watching me and Arella are walking back now and we had a pretty good day we are so excited for sapa because tomorrow is our first kind of exploring day so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and apart from that i will see you soon so yeah see ya